Helping news out of California, crews in both the northern and southern parts of the state working now against the clock, trying to contain dozens of wildfires before those windstorms return, which will fuel the flames even more. Here are the latest developments as of right now, 17 wildfires burning across the state, leaving more than 94,000 acres charred by the fires, adding to the risk nearly 130 million dead trees. Fires forcing hundreds of thousands of people from their homes. Brandon Truitt tracking the overnight developments in our breaking news center. Patrick, good morning. Well, crews are trying to put these fires out, but it's the winds that are just causing them to spread. And this morning, the governor is ordering people to get out. Go means go. That's the word from California Governor Gavin Newsom. A new round of evacuations underway this morning. You just take the things that you figure are going to be more challenging to replace and the rest of it, you just have to mentally let it go. Fire spreading over nearly every corner of the state, fueled by dry conditions and winds at times, gusting more than 100 miles per hour. We have not had any significant rainfall for a period of time. So that's why we're very, very concerned. On Monday, a fast-moving fire breaking out in Los Angeles, moving dangerously close to major interstates as people try to get out of town. Lakers star LeBron James tweeting the fires forced him from his home in the northern part of the state. The Kincaid fire burning more than 74,000 acres, crews reaching 15% containment, the highest statewide. Trying to prevent a new fire, power companies continue planned rotating outages. Some people expecting to be off the grid for more than a week, as others in the state are left on edge, wondering where the fires might spread next. I mean, it's one ember. That's all it takes. And it's that. And just, you know, your entire life is gone. Thousands of people are in need of places to stay. Airbnb is actually opening up homes for people to stay at. In the meantime, while these fires are happening, Uber is offering free rides to and from evacuation centers. And although crews are making some progress with this, they say it could be weeks, if not months, until the fires are fully extinguished. In the Breaking News Center, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.